All right, let's get an update now on Obamacare. The administration is still trying to fix the so-called glitches plaguing Obamacare. It's trying to iron out the problems that got the online insurance exchanges off to such a rocky start. Meanwhile, Republicans launching an investigation to all these glitches, especially after predictions that the rollout would run smoothly. How that worked out for you, Alan Combs. <laughs> Fox News contributor Ford O'Connell, chairman of the Civic Forum PAC and the former outreach director for John McCain's campaign. Gentlemen, good day to both Hi. of you. Alan, good I know you love Bill. talking about about this yeah <laughs> um, I, I guess the question to you is at what point are you going to be able to come on TV and smile about the rollout because uh, the first two weeks have yeah. been rocky start well, us let, off let's, let's uh, separate the actual technical aspect of the rollout and the IT problems which they should never have had by the way with proper planning but you're right they should never have had IT glitches. They should have made sure I mean, this they, didn't they happen. They should have had this nailed down. It's really, they, they should they actually have Alan's selling a lot of malarkey just like the administration. The website's a ha sloppy, half-finished product that's not ready for prime time. That's a big an IT target problem. for hackers. Yep. Alan loves to talk about chaos in the Tea Party. Trust me, have personal information of millions out there, and you're going to have chaos in the streets. The bottom line is this is the best argument for the GOP to have a one-year delay on this. Why subject the American people well, to having I, their personal I, privacy information? Alan, I know, you know that you're, you're, Alan, I know that your argument is to separate, that this is just a technical glitch, to separate right. the technical glitches from the overarching right. issue, which is that many Americans do believe that we should have right. coverage for pre-existing yep. condition and for the uninsured. But does it seem as though the administration just bit off more than it can chew? They well, had three years. Why blame, aren't they doing it right? You can't blame Barack Obama for the IT issue. He's not exactly a tech guy, and there's no excuse for it. It just should not have happened. So Ford, I'm not if you, Alan, if you if put the just so Ford, technical, if you put the Ford, why is, come on, bring it on. Ooh, sorry. Uh, if you Alan, put the Ford, why won't the administration tell us how many people signed up? At the same time, uh, please. Therefore, here's the question: Is that put the whole IT issue to the side? For do we know how many people are actually signing up? How many people are enrolling? How many people are spending money to take the product? Well, I said about two. Well, that's two exactly ads, right, Ford. Bill. Bill, that's exactly right. The problem is the administration doesn't want to tell you how many it is. They know exactly. Anyone who looks at the back of a website knows these things. But the bottom line is the word on the street's about 51K, and that's a face plant for the administration. If the numbers were great, they'd be out there touting it. And trust me, the website is just the tip of the iceberg. The mechanics of these exchanges along with the IRS mechanism to actually enforce Obamacare. This is going to be a nightmare. Why not give the American people the same one-year delay that you give big business? And what about that? Ford, quick final word here. Alan, the AP poll basically says that the rollout got a 7% favorability. You know you got a problem when your favorability is the exact same as Congress, which is about as popular as dog poop. <laughs> they like the issue. Congress on that. <laughs> dog poop? I've not heard Ford. that metaphor Very eloquent. Before. Very eloquent. All right, clean up in aisle two. Uh, Ford, thank you. Alan, thanks. Have thank a good you. weekend, gentlemen. Thanks so much.